Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am doing a sort of like try on. I had a bunch of PR products came in and the main thing that came in is this collaboration from MAC with Patrick Starr. I really, really wanted to try some of the products in that collection and then I had gotten a few other additional products in that I wanted to try out. So in this video, I'm just going to try out a bunch of products. Maybe I've used a few one other time and then several are new. I did, my foundation was a new and product. there were several other new products, but I really love the way the look came out. So if you are interested in seeing how all these products work together, keep watching. Don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave so that you can be part of my family. That sounded super threatening, like subscribe before you leave or else, but kind of was a threat so like actually do it though okay great thanks so let's get into it okay let's just go ahead and get started so I have so many of these PR packages that have come um, or just like new products in general I really wanted to do a video on some of these new products so I probably already said that in the intro the first one is Mac and Patrick Star collaboration I was so excited when this came it's like this holographic package and then inside it's just like a little ditty about Patrick and his picture and then it is a gorgeous quad this has soft brown amber light swiss chocolate and then the shade that he created which is called I'm not I'm into it which is down here so I'm going to use that on my eyes today and then there's several different lip shades um, that came in this I don't think I got the full collection I just got a few things I got brick lip liner and then she better work lipstick and it's really really pretty nude so I might actually use I think I might use a majority of this collection but I'm gonna dabble in a few other products I think I'm just gonna call this like using new products and then these two colors to top it off with I did get a few things from flower beauty a lot of lip products uh, that I was going to try out, but I kind of want to use that those MAC ones, but they came out with lip liners and that one might match better than this brick shade. So there might be some lip liners that I use from Flower Beauty. I still have a foundation from the collab brand that came out and I featured that in a video, a full video, but I didn't use this foundation, which is Meet Your Matte Velvet Foundation. So I want to try that. In this video, oh, I have a highlighter from Becca that I want to try. So let's just go ahead and get started. I already did my eyebrows and I used an e.l.f. eyebrow pencil for my eyebrows, which is not typical of what I do. I'm just going to put like a little... Oh, my lips are so dry right now. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer. I use my Sephora one, which I think is the same thing, the Sephora Lip Plumpers. This is such a good product but the Sephora one is literally almost identical but I'm like almost out of this so I just got to use up this one I used to buy this which was like 28 bucks like every I would say maybe six months I would buy a new one I had them like all over the house but I love that Sephora one so much more and I feel like it just does so much more so anyways I like I said I have a lot of different products here some more from collab uh, so we're just gonna go go ahead and get started. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. I cannot wait to try this powder This is like the Patrick Star and Mac powder It's a set powder Patrick's powder is what it's called. I cannot wait because I've heard so many good things about that So let's just go ahead and get started in the eyes. Now I've already put on Mac uh, soft ochre paint pot and I'm going to use this quad. Now, what I love about this is I feel like these are extremely wearable colors. Soft brown is one of the most gorgeous just transition shades because I think it works for everyone. So what's great about this is all these colors play together well. This would be a great like starter palette for someone or just like, I don't know, it just has a really nice travel palette too because you have the deepening, darkening up colors. There's three mattes, one shimmer for the lid, so I really am excited to use this. Now, I have all these other colors in my collection already, but I don't have this one. Um, so, I mean, I obviously am going to keep this palette just because of the, like, I love Patrick Star. So, I'm just going to keep this palette because I think that's awesome. 
um, that he came out with his own collaboration. Like how cool that YouTubers are able to catapult their career and come out with collections of like with really well-known brands. Like I just think that's so awesome. So I'm going to take Soft Brown first and this is a Sigma Taper Blending E40 brush. We're just going to blend that through the crease. This I love MAC eyeshadows and I specifically love Soft Brown. It was like a shade that was an app pretty hard with that it was a shade that was like an absolute staple for me when I first started in the makeup really it was like the first transition color that I ever consistently used mm. I like did not tap that off before I put that on that eye so I just got a lot of fallout which I typically do not get with MAC eyeshadows I don't get like a ton of fallout but that was a lot MAC is like hit or miss for me with um, some of their collections recently uh, and I get sent some stuff from PR but MAC was the first brand honestly that I fell in love with like it started my love for makeup I just feel like they had so much to offer and I just really loved their eyeshadows they were always launching new colors and products and lines and I don't know it was just like my very first love when I first started my channel I was like honestly the thought of like one day receiving PR from MAC was like I had made it like that would be my idea of making it um now that I do I'm just like oh my gosh I feel so grateful because I used to spend all of my money on MAC makeup just because I loved it so much so as you can see, that color, soft brown, builds up so well in the crease. It doesn't look like it's going to be like the most pigmented shade, but it really builds up so nicely, this one right here. Um, it's just a really pretty matte color. All right, so moving along, I'm going to deepen it up by using this, this Swiss Chocolate, which is another like faithful color. I think that that was like a cult favorite back in the day. I'm going to switch to an airbrush blender. Um, F63 and go into this color Swiss Chocolate before we go into that Amber Lights shade. I purposely did not do my foundation because I'm like, I'm going to definitely do that last where I'm using all of these colors. That just gives me freedom. I'm kind of a sloppy person just in general. So... I have to do my foundation last or I look like a mess. That just lets me be like honestly as sloppy as possible. Sometimes I'll put on my my eyeshadow and then I'll literally just blend the whole thing away with like a clean brush just because I feel like I'm so sloppy sometimes. I'm definitely not like a precise person. I honestly it's something I wish I could change about myself. Like, I'm one of those scrapbookers that you would hate to scrapbook with because I'm not a perfectionist by nature. Like, I'm just like, oh, that looks really good. And I'll, like, be done with, like, eight pages of scrapbook. And, like, all my friends are, like, still, like, cutting and lining up everything, like, perfectly. <laughs> and they're like, don't you care enough about... And it's not that I don't care about things, but I just, like, don't, like, double check or... I don't know what... I'm saying you guys are probably like wow you sound really awesome right now but I I don't know what it is it's just like I don't get hung up on being perfect I literally never have but I wouldn't say that I'm like someone who doesn't strive to do better because I definitely do but I'm just like someone who's not like if I film a video and I have like lipstick on my teeth like I'm not gonna refilm the video I'm just gonna put it up because I ain't got time for that like lipsticks on my teeth and it's not gonna kill people you know I don't know okay like that was a kind of a random squirrel moment but went off on a tangent okay now that I added that shade I'm just gonna go in this is with a morphe e27 and I'm just gonna kind of run that over all this and blend in like circles to really get that all blended together I'm gonna have to go in with like a nude brow bone color from another palette because 
We don't have that in here, so I'm gonna have to find that. Okay, now I'm gonna go on with the shade that Patrick created, and it is called I'm Into It, which is this like really pretty matte maroon shade. I'm taking this brush from Gorgeous Cosmetics, it's very similar to like an E25 brush from Sigma. And I'm just gonna like dip in that, tap that off, and then really just press that right here on the outer corner. First, I'm just going to start, and I'm going to kind of keep lower it into the crease to start with, at least, like, on the lower half, but since I'm sloppy, I'll probably end up, I mean, my eyeshadow is, like, I'll start here, and it's literally up to here later, so, it's just the way I roll, so, but I am going to try and keep that a little bit lower right now with when I have the most product on the brush. Okay, first I'm gonna go in with a little bit of amber lights on a dry brush. Then I'm gonna show it to you when I get the brush a little bit wet because it's just such a beautiful, like coppery golden shade. Oh, I love this color. So I'm going to bring it from like the inner corner up and then we're going to go back in with the palette and sort of fade that into the outer corner. I'm going to go back in with that deeper shade and just kind of work it right on this outer corner right here. Okay, now I want to get this brush a little bit wet. So I'm going to put a little bit of amber lights on the brush and we're going to spritz it a little bit. Just so I can show you, like, got that pretty much everywhere. Just so I can show you how pretty it is, just kind of want to put it right here, and that just like really intensifies it, as you can see. I'm gonna go into this Tartlet palette. This is the shade Free Spirit. It's just any type of like cream shade, and I'm just putting that right up here on this brow bone. Oh man, that's pigmented. I'm gonna have to go in and clean that puppy up. I'm going to try out this brow. This is from Maybelline. These are the Total T Temptation Brow Definers. This one's in blonde and my eyebrows, I just looked at them up closely and they're looking a little bit rough. So I'm just going to go in here and define. I like this product. Yeah, that's nice. All right. I like that. That's a good one from the drugstore. I like, has like a tiny little nubbin on the other end. Let's just try and use that comb that through the brows a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this M Cosmetics one and we're gonna go in with another one of the liners I haven't used from Collab um, for the lower lash line. This is just the felt tip liner from M Cosmetics. I'm just gonna do a small little wing right here. All right, I'm going to clean up under my eyes before we start on our foundation. Okay, I'm going to use this Meet Your Mat. I think this is in 03, but the back label has ripped off, so I'm actually not sure what shade this is in, um, but it looks like it's going to be a match for me because I used the 03 in the other foundation shade. So, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a good, yeah, it looks like that's a good color match for me. I just used one pump or two pumps of that. So, it might be just like a touch light, but I'll put on bronzer. I don't know. Probably should have put, I had a moisturizer on from earlier, but this feels like it's kind of a drier. Obviously it's matte, so it feels a little bit more of a drier formula. Okay, I have the shade 04 beige, and I actually think that color might be better. Yes, that's a way better color. And... 
Sometimes when you put on a lighter color foundation, obviously you can tell that it's there more, but if it's a matte foundation, it like really accentuates stuff. So I feel like since that first shade that I put on, like it's very accentuated. I don't, I gotta wipe this stuff off my lips. So let me go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use this ColourPop concealer. I haven't used these a ton, but I really, really like them. This is in shade Light 20. And then I cannot wait to try out that powder from the new MAC line. And I cannot wait to try out that powder from Patrick. So I'm just gonna blend that concealer in use whatever's extra on my brush or on my beauty blender powder so I'm, okay so I started on my bronzer accidentally and I forgot to set my concealer I was like talking about how excited I was so this is Patrick's powder that everyone keeps raving about and the thing that I think is different about it is it's almost like a brightening peach color so I'm interested to see how this works. I'm just gonna dump some on my lid right here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in with this setting brush from Real Techniques and just kind of press that in under the eyes. Let me look at that and see how that looks. I like that it's like a peach color because it does feel like it's extra brightening. Yeah, that's really nice. Super finely milled. Oh yeah. Wow. That's really nice. I can see why everyone loves this powder now. So back in with the bronzer, I wasn't even thinking about it before. I'm using Intoxicating. This is the Sun Obsession Sculpting Bronzer from Collab Beauty. Used this one other time before. I absolutely loved it. When I used it, it just blends in so beautifully. You can find this at Sally Beauty. And it's everything in the cloud line is under 15 bucks. I mean, like, such a steal. The products are so quality. I just, I like the packaging and everything. Use some of that powder and just like clean up right here a little bit. Just because I get crazy. I told you I'm sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy Joe. Okay, let's, before we do the rest of the face, like I'm such a skipper around her, I'm going to go back to my eyes because I realized I forgot to do mascara. Let's finish up the eyes, then I will move back to the rest of my face. I'm going to go in with this Collab Bold Faced Liner. This is a waterproof liner, and it's in the shade Ego, which is like this really pretty bronzy brown, which will go perfectly with this look. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. I have not worn eyeliner in my lower lash line and it's so, it feels like a while. I typically have been wearing nude, so it's weird to see me with darker colors. All right, I'm going to take the shade Soft Brown and I'm just going to blend out that liner a little bit. Sometimes like the little wrinkle, like the crease, like right below my eye, I will sometimes extend my um, smokiness under my eye to kind of meet that. So it sort of covers up that little wrinkle. I end up having like super smoky eyes when I do that, but I don't know. Sometimes I think it's better because it like kind of camouflages it if I bring it down a little bit more. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just like, hi, you have a wrinkle here. I like really love the way all these eyeshadow colors look together. Like this is such a good quad. He did such a great job at really putting together colors that were going to work. I could totally see myself traveling with this just because it's like an easy, easy look. I would have to take like another color for the brow bone, but this is just so nice. I love it. Okay, for my lashes, I'm going to use this new mascara that I got. This is from Lorac. This is called the Royal Treatment Primer and Mascara. So it is a primer base and mascara. So it is double-sided. There is the 
Well, the primer's blue. Is it supposed to be? Primer's blue. Mascara is black. Let me read about this. Heart... Hark back to the golden days of old Hollywood royalty and raised mascara game for a good grand duel ended mascara and primer. The primer comes in cool blue instead of white to ensure the dramatic blue-black finish, making eyes appear brighter than ever. Oh, super interesting. Okay, because I was like, oh, hello. Well, hello. So let's see how this works on the eyes. Because at first when I saw that, I'm like, uh, hello. We've got an issue here because I just don't feel like blue mascara is what I'm going for right now. I like the wand on this. It's very like flexible. Like I don't know if you can see it's very bendy and flexible. And the bristles are like almost like synthetic but soft. They're not like po too pokey which is a lot of my problem when it comes to synthetic wand brushes. Like I actually prefer a natural bristle brush. This one is a natural bristle brush on this end, um, and it seems to, I like that, it's like a tapered wand. So let's see. Honestly, it's not the blackest mascara that I have seen, but it is not too bad. Okay, I'm back. I decided to not go in with false lashes. I don't know, I just was like... I'll just skip them. I was going to do it, but then I just felt like I wanted to really try out that mascara. So I went in and doubled up on it. All the sweet surprise. This is from Col Collab Beauty, like I said. It's almost like this, looks like a bronzerish type shade to me. It just looks really, really pretty and natural. So I'm going to try that out. Just because I like the color of the bronzer. So I feel like, yeah, that's pretty. I like that. Just a very soft, natural blush. Forget how much these blushes were, but like I said, everything's under fifteen dollars. So dollars. I don't know why I said it like that. All right, I want to use a new highlighter I got in from Becca, which I was really excited to get this highlighter because I had no idea, like it wasn't even on my radar, that they were coming out with a new one. So it's called let it glow it's called let's see vanilla quartz and look at the packaging it's just beautiful i love this packaging so vanilla quartz and it looks like it's going to be perfect like this almost like white golden shade S Ooh, yes i cannot wait oh that looks like right up my alley the prosecco pop is like too is it called Prosecco Pop? Yeah, if that's too, like, gold for you, this is, like, in between because it's, like, this white gold, but it has, like, a little bit of yellow to it. I actually am going to put this in the... I have, like, a piece of hair just really playing me. I'm going to put this in my inner corners, and then I'm also going to put it um, where you put highlighter. In the inner corner. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like that. I'll put a little bit right there. It seems a little bit more, like when I pick it up on the brush, it seems a little bit more, uh, not as finely milled, but when I blended it in on my hand, it seemed very finely milled, but it's like oh, not as finely milled as I thought it would be. That's really pretty though. I like that a lot. That gives a nice soft glow. Yeah, I think that's going to work for me. Flower Beauty sent me all of these lip products. And there's liquid lipsticks in the top row. And then let me open this bottom one. This bottom one has lip liners and regular lipsticks. There's several different like nude shades of lip liner. So I'm going to use one of those for my lip liner. Because I want to use the Patrick Star and MAC collection for my lipstick shades because it's just so pretty. But I also want to try out one of the lip liners here because the shade that they sent me was brick. And I just don't think that's going to match. Even though that would kind of go really well with what I'm wearing. But I'm going to try this. Okay, I'm going to use the shade Toffee. Which is this one right here. These are called 
the Petal Pout Lip Liners. Oh yeah, it's a pretty color. These got glide on really, really well. All right, I like that color a lot. Toffee, honestly, I would wear this just like as a lipstick, but I do wanna go into the collection from Patrick Star. So this is the shade She Better Work. I love this color. It looks like a really pretty, I wonder if this is like a matte, feels like a matte formula. That's a really pretty pink color. Yeah, I like this color, color that I would totally wear. There are two different lip shades. I kind of want to go for the pink color, but this looks like it might go better with this look. So I'm going to use, this is the Mama Star shade. I'm going to go in with this color just to like put a little bit in the center. Actually, you know what? Nope, that looks good. I like that color. That's really pretty. He did such a great job at picking out shades that kind of all went together for the collection. I can't wait to see what comes more in that collection. There are two different lip shades. I kind of want to go for the pink color, but this looks like it might go better with this look. So I'm going to use, this is the Mama Star shade. I'm going to go in with this color just to like put a little bit in the center. Actually, you know what? Nope, that looks good. I like that color. That's really pretty. He did such a great job at picking out shades that kind of all went together for the collection. I can't wait to see what comes more in that collection. If you guys want a more detailed review of these, it looks like there are several different lipstick shades. Let me just swatch one of these lipsticks and then there are like I said the liquid lipsticks so this one is called naked blush matte color I mean that's really really pretty actually let me see how that compares to the Patrick Star lipstick that I just used those look very very similar hello those are pretty close this is the one from flower beauty this is the shade from flower beauty and that's the one from Mac so those are pretty similar so if you guys do want to see a, what's happening with my hair right now? I have no idea. But if you guys do want to see a video on some more of those lip products from Flower Beauty, let me know. I, I don't know what my hair is happening right now. It was just dry. I'm not even going to do it today. Like, I, I can't want to. Hopefully you guys enjoyed just seeing. I really wanted to use that MAC collection, and then I figured it was a great time to use some of the other products that I had that had come in and just kind of do one whole try-on video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some first impressions on some of these products and some, like, the bronzer and stuff I had already used before. But anyways, I love the way the look came out. I would definitely recommend picking this up, uh, especially if you're looking for a really great... Um, easy look to do because it's just like all right there the only thing I had to pull for was like that inner corner shade and then a brow bone shade so anyways thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all in the next video Mwah.